Hi, my name is Alex. Um, we are Stereo Zombies, and we have Zombie Typer. Zombie Typer is an AI-powered short story generator. So first, I'm just going to give you a basic outline of our website. So first, we have the technology. And, uh, obviously, this lists like technologies we're using. The timeline, which is like a mapping of a project's development. Um, some of our team members. More info about our model. And we have a contact us form, which is for AI camp. And we have some of uh, AI camp social medias down here. And then right here, we have um, a model site page. So you could actually interact with the model. So I'm going to have Tim start off with the technologies. All right. So the technology we use in this website is GPT-2. And GPT-2 is an AI created by OpenAI that translates text, answers questions, et cetera, in a way. I'm sorry. In a way that humans. Python is a programming language with many modules such as text, Gen, and Flask. Oh, wait, am, am I closing? I'm sorry. Um, all right. So during week one, we learned the basics of machine learning as well as deep learning and useful data analysis tools like word to vec and word cloud. We then planned out and organized our ideas for the project. First, we practiced and learned how to use NLP and AI text gen in order to collect data, train our models, and generate the text based on the models. We also learned the basics of Python, which allowed us to utilize the amazing model modules it provided. With this information, we made a mini project to get a better grasp of these concepts. Then we began to brainstorm what projects we could do and decided on a story generator. After generating our ideas, we wrote out what the specs of this product would look like. During week two, we mainly focused on training and gathering data for our models. To start the week, we had a few lessons on how to feed data to our models and how to use RNN, LSTM, sequence to sequence models, and transformers. We went off on our own to find and scrape data sets of various potential genres we could use. After we found data sets to train our models on, we spent 30 to 50 minutes on each model training. With many tweaks to the data inputs and train steps, we, with hope of improving fluency and generation of text as much as possible. During week three, after we finished training our models, we, at the start of the week, we mainly focused on learning HTML, CSS, and Bootstrap. Um, first off, we used Bootstrap to kind of kickstart our website as a base, and then using our skills in HTML and CSS that we learned, we um, edited it to fit our prompt and project. And after that, uh, we about at the center of the middle of the week, we uh, started learning Flask to help incorporate our back end with our front end and just make everything work. So now for our team, we have our instructor right here. And um, Aiden, you could start off by introducing yourself. Okay, I'm uh, Aiden Bishop. I'm going to be a senior at Millard High School in Omaha, Nebraska. I enjoy coding and reading in my free time, and uh, I have a lot of passions in the STEM field. And in the future, I'm planning to go down the uh, computer science path. I'm Alexander, as I said, and I'm going to be a senior at Cherry Hill East, and that's a high school in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. And I like learning about IT and programming in my free time. And I'm planning, I plan on pursuing a bachelor's degree and computer science and becoming a software developer. My name is Graham Goodwin. I am a junior at Reading Memorial High School and a member of varsity cross country and track and uh, enjoy going on walks with my dog. I am Khadija. I'm a senior at Foundation Public School in Pakistan. I'm an avid reader and an active participant in community services. I also have an interest in computer science and I plan to pursue it in the future. Thank you. Um, looks like Timothy's audio is down. Yeah. All right. So I'm Varun and I'm going to be a senior at Conan High School located in Illinois. I enjoy coding and playing tennis. And in my free time, I volunteer. I'm planning to go into the computer science field, mainly looking into cybersecurity or web development. And um, Timothy's going to be a junior at Parkland High School. He enjoys learning about computer science and cybersecurity. And he plans on going to college for either uh, computer science or cybersecurity. So Varun's going to tell you more about our model. 
So in terms of the model and training, we used ELU3 AI slash uh, GPT Neo 125M to train our models. So GPT Neo 125 is a transformer model designed by ELU3 AI replication of the GPT3 architecture. GPT Neo refers to the class of the models, while 125M represents the number of parameters of this particular pre trained model. And it took us around 30 to 50 minutes to train each model, depending on how many steps we trained the model on. So now I'm just going to give a brief demo of our model. So we have five genres. So I'll pick sci fi, for example. And then I could write a prompt like the spaceship took off into space. And as I click generate, it's going to send a post, re uh, post request to our flash server. And in a few seconds, we're going to have text right here. So as you can see, it says the spaceship took off into space on Friday night. And it goes on and you could read that if you want. And if you guys want me to pick any other genre, just put in the chat. But if not, um, we're going to have Aiden talk about some of the challenges we faced. And I'll do Russian. Um, just give it a few seconds. And the men walked outside of the building, turned after the woman. And you can read the rest. And horror, uh, right? And it generated a horror prompt. Oh, wow, look at that, New Jersey. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, Aiden, you could talk about some of the challenges we faced. Cool. Okay, so our first challenge was um, just like getting the data for each specific genre, because if we um, come just a bunch of books together, we it would be a mishmash of prompts and that would just kind of throw off the story. So we had to find data sets for each independent genre that we chose so that it wouldn't get confused like that. And that brings us to our uh, second roadblock was just getting and cleaning the data because a lot of like, I know we want to do fantasy or like superheroes, but we couldn't find a um, good data set to train both of those. So we had to kind of just use what we had. And then that comes to a third one, just time in general. Um, we had difficulties training them or um, we just wouldn't have enough time to look for and scrape those data sets. We have gotten our data sets from Caribou for various genres and cleaned them to train the models. Also, as part of some expansions, we scraped some data from Wikipedia and look forward to training some more models in the future. For now, we have trained our models on some selected genres and we look forward to train more models in the future as to have a better user experience. We also plan to add tags in the future, which will allow for a wider scope of topic that the user wants to be covered. It will allow them to also have a more precise topic list, such as kingdom building or tragic romance. So that was our project. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, you can just put it in the chat.